It's Miss Karen from the Owl Room. How are you today? Great. I'm glad to hear that. I am doing well. I was talking to you the last video about going outside a lot and doing some gardening. And we were talking about those squiggly little things that go in the garden and the dirt and how they help our plants when we do them. Does anybody remember what those are called? If you said a worm, you are absolutely right. What letter does the word worm start with? Right, it's a W. W-O-R-M spells worm. And I have yet another book for you today called Wiggle and Waggle. And those are about worms as well. And the author, the one that wrote the words, is named Caroline Arnold. And the pictures is another big fancy word called Illustrated by Mary Peterson. This is a book that has five short stories instead of, a, instead of just one big story. So can you show me on your hands how many stories we're going to be reading today? Five. You're right. One, two, three, four, five. And the first story will be called A Digging Song. I hope you enjoy. Wiggle and Waggle were worms. They lived in the garden all day long. They dug in the dirt. That looks like fun to me. They slid between the beets. They looped around the carrots. They pushed under the peas. Their tunnels gave the plants room to grow. This is hard work, moaned Wiggle. We will never be done. Let's sing as we dig, said Waggle. Wiggle sang the high notes, Waggle sang the low notes. We wiggle and waggle, squiggle and squirm. Digging in dirt is the life of a worm. We dig and we sing all day long our wiggly waggly gardening song. They dug long tunnels, short tunnels, fat tunnels, thin tunnels. Soon all the garden roses rows were done. What a good song, said Wiggle. It made us our work go faster. Let's sing it one more time, said Waggle. I hope you'll sing with me. We wiggle and waggle, squiggle and squirm. Digging in dirt is the life of a worm. We dig and we sing all day long our wiggly waggly gardening song. That was fun, said Wiggle. Yes, said Waggle. We're a good team. I agree, said Wiggle. Let's dig again tomorrow. And that was the end of one short story. So that was the first one. This will be the second one called A Big Rock. Wiggle liked to dig fast. He zoomed around the corn. He zipped under the beans. He zagged between the potatoes. Sometimes Wiggle forgot to look where he was going. Uh-oh. Thump! He hit something hard. Ouch! He cried. A rock was in his way. Wiggle tried to go over the rock. It was too high. He tried to go around the rock. It was too wide. This rock is too big, said Wiggle. I will have to move it. Wiggle took a deep breath. He pushed hard. The rock did not budge. Wiggle tried again. Still, the rock did not move. This rock is stuck, said Wiggle. Let me help, offered Waggle. Wiggle and Waggle leaned against the rock. One, two, three. Push, said Waggle. Wiggle and Waggle pushed. The rock began to roll. <gasps> they got to move it because they were working together. That's awesome. Hooray, shouted Wiggle. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Push. Little by little, they rolled the rock out of the garden, down the hill, and into the ditch. Kerplunk. Thank you, said Wiggle. Now I can dig fast again. I was happy to help, said Waggle. That's what friends are for. This is our third story called A Day Off. Wiggle and Waggle worked very hard every day. The plants grew big and strong. Let's take a day off, said Wiggle. How about a picnic, said Waggle. I will bring dirt rolls and bug juice, said Wiggle. I'll make a mud pie, said Waggle. Wiggle and Waggle packed their food. 
They climbed to the top of the hill. Too windy, said Wiggle. They went to the woods. Too shady, said Waggle. They slid to the pond. Too many bugs, said Wiggle. Wiggle and Waggle looked up at the sky. A big dark cloud was coming their way. Rain began to fall. We can't stay here. It's too wet. Wiggle and Waggle hurried back to the garden. They slid under a pail. Let's wait here, said Wiggle. Splish, splash, the rain poured down. I am hungry, said Wiggle. Have a dirt roll, said Waggle. Soon all the dirt rolls were gone. Pitter patter, the rain poured down. I am thirsty, said Wiggle. Have some bug juice, said Waggle. Soon they drank the last drop. Flip plop, the rain poured down. Something would taste nice, said Wiggle. Something sweet would taste nice, said Wiggle. Have some mud pie, said Waggle. Soon they ate the last slice. What a good picnic, said Wiggle. Yes, said Wiggle. Waggle, they picked the perfect spot. And the next story is called Too Much Mud. The rain stopped at last. Everything was soaked. A big puddle filled the middle of the garden. Wiggle and Waggle slid across the wet dirt. They looked into the puddle. They saw the sky. They saw the garden plants. Look, said Wiggle. We can, we can see us. We are muddy all over, said Waggle. What a mess, said Wiggle. I have an idea, Wiggle. Waggle said, let's go for a swim. He jumped into the water. Splash! Last one in is a rotten egg, shouted Waggle. Wiggle jumped in after him. Splash! I will beat you to the other side, he yelled. Wiggle swam on his back. Wiggle, Waggle swam on his side. They raced across the puddle. Soon the sun came out. The air grew warm. The puddle grew smaller. It is time to get out, said Waggle. Wiggle and Waggle dried off in the grass. Look, said Wiggle, no more mud. Yes, said Waggle, rain is good for the garden. It also helps us to get clean. And the last story of Wiggle and Waggle is called A Good Job. The summer days passed. Wiggle and Waggle dug and dug. The corn grew big. The tomatoes grew fat. The beans grew long. They were ready for picking. We did a good job, said Waggle. Now we can rest until spring. Yes, said Wiggle, after I dig one more tunnel. Can I help, asked Waggle. No, said Wiggle. I'm making a surprise. Wiggle dug, dug deep in the dirt. Waggle waited while Wiggle worked. At last, Wiggle was done. Follow me, he said. Wiggle slipped into a tunnel. Waggle slid after him. They dipped and climbed. They did fancy twists. This is odd, said Waggle. The tunnel shapes are just like letters. He slid through the tunnel again. He said each letter out loud. W-I-G-G-L-E. W-A-G-G-L-E. Oh, he shouted, the tunnel spells our names. Yes, said Wiggle. What a nice surprise, said Waggle. They slid through the tunnels one more time. I like to dig, said Wiggle. Me too, said Waggle. Let's do it again next year, said Wiggle. We can zip and zag and zoom again. Yes, agreed Waggle. It will be fun. We will make the best garden ever, said Wiggle. Then Wiggle and Waggle opened their mouths and sang. We wiggle and waggle, squiggle and squirm. Digging in dirt is the life of a worm. We dig and we sing all day long. Our wiggly, waggly gardening song. The end. I really hope you enjoyed those stories. It was a long story, but really uh, informational and about gardening. And it really taught me about friendships and I hope it taught you that as well. What I'd like you to do is I have two gifts and ideas I'd like you to do. I'd like you to take a piece of paper and some crayons and if you can think of a time when you did something with a friend I'd like you to draw a picture for me of that and if you are ready to take out your pencil 
and write a story, I'd love to see that as well. You can send it to my email or to any of the teachers at MELC. We would love to see that. And then I have another um, project to do with you today. I thought I would take some paper and a pen and I would just draw a couple of worms. I had folded the paper over so that I could make two worms at the same time. Take my scissors and cut out some worms for you. And you could do this at home with just paper, pen, or something to draw with, and scissors. And then I found some popsicle sticks. If you don't have any popsicle sticks, you could um, ask a grown-up to help you find something that would work as well. And let me just show you. So I have two worms. I think I'll just draw an eye on each of them. And then I'll take a glue stick and a popsicle stick and glue my worms on there. I made two worms that I could do a story with. I could say, hi, Wiggle. This is Waggle. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. We could just do a puppet show. You don't have to do it with worms. You could do it with a picture of yourself and your family or your friends and just do a puppet show. It's like a simple idea of that. I think this story definitely showed us a lot about working together and having fun with someone that you're close to. So I hope you've enjoyed this story. And until we see each other next time, have a good day. Bye.